Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed. Today you're going to fix my iron. Uh, that's, that's for a later video. <laughs> I'm gonna fit first this light to the uh, ceiling on that room. What you need to do first, if you do the same thing, is you need to disconnect the fuse, the power, to the lights and make sure that no one have access to the fuse while you're doing it because if someone switch the lights on because it needs a light in the toilet you might end up uh, in a very bad situation so make sure you do that first I will uh, connect that camera right to right here Right here, and I will uh, disconnect the light. Let's see if we can do it from here. Okay, so because this thing, it's uh, pretty old, the thing is like 40 years old, it's been done with these chop blocks connectors. There we go, these. Can you focus please? It doesn't want to focus. So, they're not bad, they're actually pretty good, but they're not that easy to install. So we'll show you in a second how we're gonna um, put new ones in. What it needs to happen is, I need to have the light. I have a drywall ceiling, so I have a metal beam from the structure of that uh, of that ceiling so that's where the beam goes in the middle I want this light to be centered like so for so the middle is gonna be here and this I reckon see these markings these black thingies will follow the middle of the beam because I want the light to be like this on the ceiling not like square but like diagonally okay so let's see where the middle is we can I think we can say that's the middle okay Okay, so I'll do two holes, one in there and one in there. I hope this one goes through the structure. We'll see in a second. And we'll connect the cables in a second as well. Okay, so these here are Wago connectors. So they have a common rail inside, which means that uh, I'm not gonna be on focus, am I? Which means that the inside of the connector is connected on in both on both sides. So I'll connect two of them, one to the face and the other one to the neutral, 
Then we'll connect the cable and then connect it to the light because I need to extend this cable over there, it's not long enough. Okay, maybe need a little bit of fun. Okay, it's connected now. Let's connect that one as well. They're transparent on the side so you can also see when it's connected. focus there we go can you see how short the cable is you can barely touch it so now we'll run another piece of cable from there to the light I'll just try to find the cable first Okay, so I got myself a cable. I'm using a, a bit oversized 2.5 square millimeters cable. I don't know what is the gauge. We need to find where is the face on these two because the brown one is the face and the blue one is the neutral. Now at the moment we don't have any power, so I'll go switch the fuse on and I'll come back and uh, measure where is the face. Okay, now when I know that. Life. So this one, that's the face, the other one is, is neutral. I don't have a ground connector, so it's only two cables. I'm going to switch the fuse off. Let's connect that really easy. Let's connect that cable. So the left one is the face of the brown wire. We have brown wire here. Okay, maybe like so. I don't know if you can manage to see stuff, but. There we go, pull on the cables, you think come loose. Now on this side. Open the connector. Close the thingy. Okay, so now this one it's extended. We need to drill two holes for the 
or the screws. I have two screws that come in a set with the bulb with the light. I don't know if they can manage to go through the profile, but we'll have a look in a second and get a drill. Okay, let's see if these screws can. Pretty long. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I need to use a uh, drywall screws. Okay, I want to show you why it's not happening. I don't know if you can see, but the edge, the front bit of the screw on the drywall screw is on the right and it's a lot sharper than the left one. That's why it can't go through the uh, profile. So just do it with the right one now. Okay. Let's try with the original screws now. Okay, it's okay now. Let's connect. Let's connect the light. to the cable if you have a look there is three positions that we can fit the cable L little circle and N that's life ground and neutral we don't have ground on this circuit so we'll just leave it blank some people do neutral with ground it depends on your uh, education. You can do it like this or leave it blank or leave it blank. But if you know what you're doing, you can connect the ground to the neutral. There is some stuff that you need to follow. I'm not going to explain them now because I don't really understand them. But yeah, we'll connect the live brown cable to the live and the and to the neutral. Don't connect the neutral to the ground if you're only doing it, it's not gonna light up. That's the important part. How much cable we need? Not a lot, maybe up to here. Yeah, we'll chop it off here. You can use wire strippers a lot more easier and a lot more safe for the cable. But when I, you when you're doing it for yourself, you can do whatever you don't, whatever you want. Okay, right, so this is the brown one. This is the blue one.
Now you want to make sure that you don't screw in the cable when you I'm doing all this, so just route it like so. And now let's see. just a little bit so you can find the other side I just run out of uh or she doesn't even notice it. So I screw it in tight. I uh, tighten it by hand as well. Now we need to check that the face with that uh, face checker that the face is coming in the middle pin of the bulb because if it's coming on the outer ring when someone decides to change the bulb and the lights are turned on if it touches the ring uh, it might get hurt. So now I'll switch the lights on and make sure that the face is coming in the right spot. Power is switched on, let's see if the power is coming in the middle pin. Yeah, on the outer ring. No, here. Yeah, on the outer ring. Nothing. Okay, switch the power off, fit the bulbs. I will be using uh, 18 watts LED bulbs. They're equivalent to on a 110 watts um, normal bulb. We'll see. We'll see how they do. I really hope they're not too big for the light, although they might be. We'll see. Okay. Okay, and now let's fit the metal plate, the metal, the glass, it's a glass plate. Would you prefer it like this, like this, or like this, or which way, maybe like so? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Mm. Okay, so one. One of, one of the both sides extends. So let's make sure it's in the middle. It's in the middle. Does it look okay to him? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I'll put the camera down and we will test it. Okay, so you can see it's working perfectly fine. These uh 18 watts LED bulbs are pretty strong as well. Yeah, so that's how to fit a light on the ceiling. That's on a drywall ceiling. If it had a concrete, we were going to use the the other type of screws. But yeah, I hope the video was helpful to you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.